Hi, this is Hamid from Civil Engineering Philosophy Channel. In this video, we're going to learn how cement is made. Cement is that grayish powder that you see all of the time. Cement is the glue that holds concrete components together. Without cement, we wouldn't have concrete. People sometimes confuse concrete with cement. So remember, cement is just one component of the concrete. There are several types of cement, but we mainly use Portland cement in concrete. Portland cement was first made by the bricklayer Joseph Aspden in England almost 200 years ago by burning powdered limestone and clay in his kitchen stove. But his process was not as controlled and developed as the current process nowadays. Today, cement is manufactured through a controlled chemical combinations of calcium, silicon, aluminum, iron, and even other ingredients. The first step in manufacturing Portland cement involves quarrying the raw materials like limestone, clay, and others. These rock materials are then crushed in several stages to produce aggregates that are about three inches in size. The crushed rock is then combined with other ingredients, such as iron ore, fly ash, and other materials depending on the chemical proportions requirement of the final product. All of these components are then fed into a cement furnace, which is basically a big oven. In this rotary furnace, the materials are heated to about 2700 degrees Fahrenheit to ensure that the cement components combine with each other. The product of this process is called clinkers, which are gray balls about the size of marbles. After clinkers are cooled, machines grind and mix them with the small amounts of gypsum and limestone, depending on the final requirements. Then cement is sent to be used on site or to be stored. If you are wondering about the functions of gypsum and other materials in cement, then let us talk briefly about that. Silicon is a component which combines with calcium and other elements to provide the strength of the hardened concrete. Iron in the iron ore combines with calcium and aluminum to produce a product that facilitates the formation of calcium silicates and it also provides the grayish color that you see in the cement. Gypsum is used mainly to slow the reaction when cement reacts with water. Remember, when we mix cement with water, it hardens within a few hours. And this is important to ensure that we have adequate time for casting of the concrete. If we do not use gypsum, then this hydrated cement will become like a rock in a shorter time. So to recap, cement is made from rocks, raw materials that are crushed into the size of aggregates. These raw materials are fed into a big rotary furnace. The product is then crushed to produce the cement that we know. For the sake of vi this video, I avoided technical terms, but if you need additional information about the process, especially in terms of chemical stuff, I will put a link, some links in the description so that you know more about this stuff. At the end, please leave a comment and suggestions about what my next video should be about. Thanks for watching and see you. Peace.